virtually every enterprise in the world is virtualized on VMware. And because to date, VMware and AWS have done nothing really to integrate how they work together, it means that we are forcing customers to make this binary choice of either continue to use the VMware software to manage their infrastructure footprint that they know and love and not really be able to use AWS very effectively in the public cloud very effectively, or move to AWS in the public cloud and have to leave behind the VMware software they're used to running. And customers didn't really like that choice, understandably. And they said, look, you guys can understand why we'd want to actually have one bit of software to run across all of our infrastructure environments. And indeed, we want to use software that we're used to already using, the teams know it, and importantly, we want to do so without having to buy more hardware. There are very few companies in the world that are looking to buy more hardware. Most companies are looking to either stay pat or to actually shrink the, number, the amount of hardware they have as they leverage the cloud. So this was really useful feedback. We thought about it a lot as a team. We thought about what we might be able to do. And we started talking to our good friends at VMware. And together, we announced about six weeks ago a new offering, which is VMware Cloud and AWS, which allows customers to use the same software they're used to running to manage their on-premises infrastructure and be able to use that same software to manage their footprint in AWS. It is a unique offering that you won't see anywhere else. It's the only one that's going to be operated and managed by VMware. It's the only one where you can use VMware licenses to apply to. And it makes tons of sense if you think about it, because all, almost all the enterprises in the world are virtualized using VMware, and AWS continues to be the significant market segment leader in the public cloud. So we're very, we announced this a few weeks ago. Uh, it, it had a pretty overwhelming reaction. People are very excited about this. And to share a little bit more about what the reaction has been and what we're seeing, it's my pleasure to bring to the stage the CEO of VMware, Pat Gelsinger, for a conversation. reInvent, right, Andy? This is reInvent. Okay, wanted to just make sure I was here. at the right place, yeah. It's funny okay. seeing you here yeah. again. Yeah, uh, on stage. great. Well, it's great to have you here, Pat, and uh, we appreciate you being here. And, and you know, since we did the announcement, uh, we've talked to a number of customers, and they're pretty excited. I was kind of curious what you found the reaction to be like so far. Yeah, the, the response has been overwhelming. And uh, if you think about those hundreds of thousands of vCenter users, it's like an ex seamless extension to a globally available, almost infinitely scalable hardware resource, you know, they're just excited. You know, when you think about the developer, this idea that they could be developing in the cloud and bringing that seamlessly back on premise, or on premise and seamlessly moving into a cloud environment, a lot of excitement. And for the CIO, to him it's been a strategic game changer because they now can think about their cloud strategy in a much more comprehensive, holistic way. And as, as your slide shows, it's not an A or B choice, it's an A and B opportunity. So overall, enormously positive response from the market. Yeah, we've seen the same thing. It share a little bit about some of the use cases and examples of what people are going to do with the offering. Yeah, well, the customer responses, you know, we've really seen, you know, what we call our Lighthouse customer program that uh, we're rolling out uh, together. And obviously, we had a few of these brands at the announcement. Cisco and Western Digital were there talking about their plans. You know, Amadeus is one I like. They're the largest ticketing and, uh, you know, uh, travel uh, company in Europe. And for them, you know, DR is the use case they want to attack immediately with the joint offering. And really, you know, I'll say for any CIO in the audience, your capital budget for DR in the future should be zero, right? You know, that should all be done in the cloud. We also have customers like Tom, who was just here at McDonald's, and they're a joint partner and excited about the opportunity. You know, another one is, uh, you know, the state and local market has responded very well in the state of Louisiana. You know, a couple of years ago, they formed the Office of Technology Services. What they said is, boy, you know, these little IT shops for all of the different state agencies, we're going to bring all of those together into a single offering. 
a lot of VMware customers as part of that. They're using our converged infrastructure to really bring that on-premise cloud experience, their private cloud environment, but also wanting the scalability. They have what they call their service first mentality that they're building on top of a lot of AWS services. So they're excited to bring those two worlds together. You know, another one is Liberty Mutual. And somewhere in the audience, uh, James McGlennon, the CIO, you're out there somewhere, James, you know, give us a wave. Yeah, James is here and he's excited. You know, they're a hundred year old insurance company. Right? You think about that, one of the largest, oldest, most mature and trusted brands in insurance, huge VMware customer. You know, they love us, they use us all over, but they've also said we're cloud first and our objective in the future is cloud only. And being able to bring those two worlds together, you know, James speaks with enthusiasm yep. about his ability to scale into that cloud environment. So again, we're very excited about what we're hearing from customers like them. Maybe the last one, Merck. You know, Clark from Merck, you know, what a big global brand. In fact, they operate in every country of the world. Yeah. You know, which I was blown away with. Yeah. And in fact, they have physical presence in 70 countries around the world, seven by 24 global company. And the global footprint of us, Amazon is very exciting to him. Big customer of ours. And if you think about a company like Merck, one of the most regulated industries, the security aspects, the trusted brands that he's building his infrastructure on, you know, really excite him as well. So again, world-class brands excited about becoming part of this offering. These brands are standing up to become part of our Lighthouse program. Yeah, it's really exciting. How about, you know, for both of us, a very strategic set of partners are systems integrators. What's their reaction been? Well, the system integrators, uh, you know, we have uh, four of them today, in fact, that have signed up to be Lighthouse customers. And to me, you know, this is pretty good. They're paying us to learn to use our platform. Ain't that cool, Andy? Right, we have, uh, uh, you know, today we have uh, Accenture, uh, CSC, uh, Capgemini, and Deloitte, who are part of the Lighthouse program, because they've been building practices on VMware, helping people transform their on-premise data center environment They've also been building practices on AWS, right? And how can they help their customers take advantage of yours? And when we announced this, it was like they were just ripping it out of right. our hands. And you know, we're quite excited for these first four partners and we expect many others in the future. Yeah. So the last question I'm gonna ask you is, you could have chosen to partner with lots of different providers. And tell, you know, share why you chose AWS. Well, you know, of course, it's your charm and magnetic personality. <laughs> You know, but seriously, I think this audience and this show represents it as well as anything possibly could. Our customers have asked us to do this together, yeah. right? And you know, as we look at the hundreds of thousands of VMware customers, the now million plus users of Amazon, you know, they brought us together and they're excited about the capabilities that we could do to make the seamless hybrid cloud experience and their ability to move across those environments, accelerate their journey to the cloud. You know, the world-class brands, I mean, you, you know, you've built an incredible franchise that is growing rapidly. The innovation cycle, at our core, we're an innovative, hardcore, do, you know, brilliant, uh, innovative things. And that matches the personality of Amazon as well. So in every aspect, we're seeing the customers, the market, this particular offering, but even more importantly, the roadmap of innovation that we can deliver to the greatest companies on earth to help them transform their infrastructure. We're excited. And we are too. Well, as we said, we have a huge amount of respect for VMware, and I think the offering is something that customers have waited for for a long time, and I think are understandably excited about. We can't wait to make it easier for companies to move workloads back and forth between on-premises and the cloud, and we look forward to the partnership. Andy, great yeah, working with you. Thank you, thank you so much, it. and thank you yeah. to reInvent. Thanks, Pat.